Hello, I am Tobias Sarman from Indonesia. Today I am going to talk about a secret and famous temple in Indonesia. The name of this temple is Borobudur. And now it becomes a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In my presentation, I will divide it in four parts. First, general information location of the temple. Borobudur Temple, located in Magelang, Central Java, Indonesia, approximately 40 kilometers from northwest of Yogyakarta and 86 kilometers from west of from west of Surakarta. Borobudur Temple is located in an elevated area between two twin volcanoes, Sundoro Sumbing and Merbabu Merapi, and two rivers, Progo and Elo. There are closely international airport. That is Yogyakarta Adisicipto International Airport and Solos Adisumarmo International Airport. Secondly, historical of temple. Borobudur is Mahayana Buddhist temple in Magelang, Central Java, Indonesia. This is the world's largest Buddhist temple as well as one of the greatest Buddhist monuments in the world. But there is no definite written record of who built Borobudur or why it was built. It was likely founded as a religious site in the 8th century at the peak of the Sailendra dynasty in central Java. The temple was designed in Javanese Buddhist architecture that is Gunadharma, which blends the Indonesian indigenous cult ancestor worship and the Buddhist concept of attaining nirvana. The monuments bought a shrine to the, Bo to the Lord Bud and a place for Buddhist pilgrimage. The journey for pilgrims begins at the base of the monument and follows a path around the monument and ascends to the top through three levels symbolic of Buddhist cosmology. Kamadhatu, the word of desire, Rupadhatu, the word of forms, and Arupadhatu, the word of formless. Borobudur has the largest and most complete assemble for Buddhist reliefs in the world. Thirdly, Borobudur Temple becomes a UNESCO heritage site. By 1950, some parts of Borobudur were facing imminent danger of collapsing. Indonesian government and UNESCO began to restore it in 1975 and finished in 1982. After the renovation, UNESCO listed Borobudur as a World Heritage Site in 1991. It is listed under cultural criteria. One, to represent a masterpiece of human creative genius. Two, to exhibit an important interchange of human values over a span of time or within cultural area of the world on developments in architecture or technology, monumental arts, town planning, or landscape design. And three, to be directly tangibly, tangibly associated with events or living traditions, with ideas or with beliefs, with artistic and literary works of outstanding universal significance. Con fourth conclusion. To sum up my presentation, I tried to show try to show that Borobudur Temple is a greatest Buddhist temple in the world. I mentioned it that the history I mentioned the history of this temple and its locate location. And lastly, I looked at status of Borobudur Temple as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Strongly, I recommend it. You can come to my country. You'll be see any more that I can see. And thank you for your attention. Any questions?